Skip Hollinsworth, an accomplished author, journalist, editor, and TCU alum, is celebrating 28 years at Texas Monthly and the paperback release of his book, The Midnight Assassin. TCU Magazine sat down with Skip to talk about his exciting career, from the TCU Daily Skiff to nearly three decades working his dream job. So I was reading a book on Jack the Ripper, and I read this line about Scotland Yard being baffled by these killings, which were taking place in 1888 in the east end of London's Whitechapel district. And the um, article, the book, the writer wrote that the first suspect Scotland Yard thought about was that the killer came from an unknown city in Texas where a series of similar killings had occurred three years earlier. And I thought, well, crime is my wheelhouse. How do I not know anything about this story? What unknown killer in Texas? What unknown city? What similar series of murders? And thus began sort of a 10-year investigation into trying to dig through old newspapers, old archives and libraries, people's attics, looking for some information about these killings that took place in Austin in 1885 that sent the city spiraling into chaos. Yeah, what happened was I descended into a world that really had, I descended into a world that really had not been written about before. This is a series of killings that sort of disappeared in the cracks of history. And it was an attempt to resurrect this story. That's the fascination of journalism, is following people when they cross the line. Whether it's they cross the line to descend into a darkness they've never known before, or when they cross the line and ascend into the heights of glory or celebrity. And that's what I like about... That's what I like about journalism, is that it's the mystery of the human personality. I was at TCU in the late 70s, and there was a trial of the richest man in America ever put on trial for murder. His name was Cullen Davis. He was a Fort Worth oilman and accused of shooting his ex-wife, murdering her daughter and her boyfriend. And I, everybody was talking about the case. And then I read this story in Texas Monthly by Gary Cartwright about the case. And the writing was so vivid and so rich and so realistic and so poetic in its own way, even though it was about a murder case, I found myself feeling like my hair was on fire. It was that good of a story. And I was 19 years old, majoring in English, had no idea what I was going to do with myself. And I thought, even back then, sitting in my dorm room in Tom Brown Hall, I want to major in, I want to major in journalism. No, no. Sitting in my dorm room in Tom Brown Hall, I thought, I want to be a writer for Texas Monthly. 28 years later, I'm still doing what I did when I started the magazine. I'm still trying to figure out how to write a story that sings. Mm -hmm. And I would say 90% of my stories never get to that level. I always read them when they come out and I think, could have been better. <laughs>